Hi, I'm Lisa Bardot, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the new Apple Pencil Hover features in Procreate 5.3 that was just released. Here with me, I have a 12.9 inch iPad Pro with M2 processor. This is the model that was released this year in October, 2022. With this release, Apple introduced a new feature, Apple Pencil Hover. Thanks to some new technology in the iPad, the screen can now detect the Apple Pencil from up to 12 millimeters away. This seemingly simple feature has some really interesting possibilities for the ways that you can interact with the apps on your iPad, especially third-party apps like Procreate. And the team at Procreate just released version 5.3, which was built specifically to take advantage of the new hover feature. In this video, I'll show you all the capabilities that Apple Pencil Hover brings to Procreate, including brush and eraser previews, new brush size and opacity gestures, new way to interact with colors, a way that Hover helps you make better selections, and other fun features that Hover brings to Procreate. And even if you don't have an iPad that supports Hover, you can still take advantage of some of the features in this 5.3 update, including a reimagined color drop and faster performance. Let's get into it. In this update, you'll get to experience brush strokes in a whole new way. Thanks to Hover, you now get a preview of your brush stroke and color before your pencil even touches the screen. When you're using the eraser tool, you can instantly see what you're about to erase. Just hover the tool over your screen and you can see what's gonna be erased before you even do it. The brush cursor preview is customizable and there's a couple different places in Procreate that you can adjust these settings. The first is in your Procreate preferences and these would be global settings for the brush cursor. To do that, you would go to the actions menu, preferences, and then you would toggle on brush cursor and here we have some new advanced cursor settings. So you can decide when you want that cursor to be visible. And you can also decide what type of outline you want. You can do the high contrast. You can have it display your active color, which is really cool. So no matter what color you're working with, you get a preview of that color. Um, or you can set the settings to be on a per brush basis. And you would set those settings up in the brush settings in Brush Studio. So I'll show you that next. So let me go to my brushes. I'm opening up one of my pastel brushes and then you'll find the settings here under Apple Pencil. And if you scroll down to the bottom, there's some new settings that you can set pretty much the same as the preferences, but you can do it on a per brush basis. So if you wanted a particular brush not to show the cursor, or, you know, you can set it up to be that way. The next really cool addition when it comes to Hover are the new brush size and opacity gestures. While hovering with the Apple Pencil, you can take two fingers and pinch open and close to adjust your brush size. This gesture definitely feels like something that would be very useful for quickly adjusting your brush size. The other gesture is for brush opacity. So while you're hovering, you take one finger and you can slide up or down to adjust the opacity. I think these gestures add something really interesting to Procreate and I could definitely get used to using them as a quick way to adjust my brush size as I'm working without having to tap over to little sliders. The next thing I wanna show you is the reimagined color drop. And this is really exciting because I've always found trying to recolor multiple spaces in Procreate to be a little bit finicky. So let's look at that next. While hovering over the color picker circle, tap two times on your Apple Pencil and you'll see now it says color drop up at the top. With that active, you can just tap, tap, tap into multiple areas on your canvas to fill them with color. You can also go to your color picker and select a different color. So if I wanted to do the pencil eraser and then the tip of the pencil, I can do that while I'm in that mode. And then when you're done, you just tap this little check mark to get out of that mode. Now the good news here is that you don't have to have Apple Pencil hover to take advantage of this new color drop feature. Just do color drop like you normally would and then you tap here where it says continue filling. Then you can tap into other areas of your canvas that you wanna change colors. Hover also introduces some improvements to the selection tool. When making selections in the freehand mode, you can now tap and get a preview of the line that it's going to create so you can make more accurate selections. And it will even snap to the starting point to close your selection. Some other cool features are in the gallery view. You can now hover over individual files to instantly show you a time lapse of your artwork. When hovering over animations, your animation will play. And when you hover over stacks, they expand so you kind of see what's inside. 
There are other hover features that you might notice, like choosing colors in your color palette is a little bit easier with hover. And when you're working with sliders, you get a nice little preview of where you're gonna tap. So those are all the hover features that come with the Procreate 5.3 update. There are a couple things about this update that you should know about. They've made some file compression improvements, which means that you'll see better performance for things like painting and undoing. But this does mean that files that you create in Procreate 5.3 are not compatible with older versions of Procreate. So you won't be able to open anything you made in 5.3 in an older version of Procreate. So something to keep in mind. The other important thing to know about this update is Procreate is no longer supporting any other stylus other than the Apple Pencil and the Logitech Crayon. So all other styluses, styli, are not gonna be compatible with Procreate anymore. And they say that the reason for this is because the Apple Pencil, as we all know, is like the best of the best, it's really awesome, and other stylus makers aren't keeping up with the time. So they wanted us to have the best possible experience with Procreate, and that's why they made that decision. Of course, I always recommend using the Apple Pencil when you're working in Procreate. It is by far and away the best possible accessory that you can get for creating art on your iPad. So that's my recommendation anyways, is to use the Apple Pencil. All right, you guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learning about the new hover features in Procreate 5.3. Again, I'm Lisa Bardo, and I help people find their creativity through drawing on the iPad. If you'd like to support me, I hope you'll check out my premium brush sets that inspire creativity at bardobrush.com. Or think about joining Art Makers Club. Art Makers Club is our joy-filled creative community and learning hub for digital art makers. We've got a growing library of really fun courses, an amazing community of fellow art makers that will help support you and are kind of doing the same things as you. And we do live events every month, which are live drawing tutorials, Q and A's, artwork advice, and all kinds of really fun things we do in this club. So I hope you'll check it out. You can learn more at artmakersclub.com. Until next time, thanks and happy art making. If you like this video, please subscribe for more awesome tutorials and check out one of my other videos. Have a great day.